Hello everyone, I'm coming to you from the bustling Atlanta airport at the moment, and I'm getting ready to fly out to El Paso for a two-week trip across Texas and New Mexico. So uh, without further ado, I will see you guys when we land. We made it to El Paso. You can see Steven right there working his magic in the, the driver's seat, Sophia. And uh, me and Caitlin are in the back seat, just uh, enjoying the, the sights and sounds of El Paso traffic at 11 o'clock at night. All right, guys, we're finally off the interstate and we are beelining it to some rock cuts. Uh, we're gonna get to them pretty late. It's currently 1.30, so it is a little bit late. And actually, it's pretty late considering the area we're in. Um, activity generally doesn't last too much past midnight so uh, fingers crossed though it has been really nice out here there's been a lot of a lot of rain and uh, it was nice and warm today and it's still nice and warm so hopefully we'll see some stuff but if we don't we've still got the next two weeks ahead of us so I will check in with you guys when we hit the cut all right guys well here's an interesting first snake of the trip this prairie rattlesnake is run over on the head which is really unfortunate but he is still alive and from my experience, snakes that are run over on the head have the best chance of survival. It stuns them for a little bit, and this guy's obviously not acting normal. But uh, he might have a chance of survival, so we're just going to move him off the road. And if he makes it, fantastic. And if he doesn't, hopefully something will at least make a meal of him. But obviously not in the best of state, as you can see. But first snake of the trip, prairie rattlesnake, which is kind of a weird one to see out here in West Texas. They... Uh, are mostly restricted to the better grassland habitat up here. So kind of an interesting snake. We don't get to see too much, but either way, we're gonna escort this guy off the road and hopefully he will be able to pull through. I'm gonna move you past the border. Yeah. So first, here is it's wet here yeah. or damp. Yeah, it's kind of like this everywhere. All right, we're moving this guy this over guy. here. He's alert, he's tongue flicking. He's crawling crawling a little bit so rattling now hopefully he'll be all right but first thing of the trip all right guys well it's uh three something in the morning right now the time change really kind of threw a wrench in our plans between el paso and the big bend region um because it was 2 a.m and now it's suddenly 3 a.m which doesn't really mean anything but my brain's all messed up from that but we're shining a cut right now probably gonna be the only one we hit tonight if we see anything awesome if not i will be checking in with you guys tomorrow for our first full night of the trip which will hopefully be a little bit more productive all right guys here's our next snake of the night i just shined this little hook nose snake surprisingly really was not expecting to see one of these this is actually the first one of these that i have ever found here on this particular cut very interesting it is cold out here, and this guy is just chilling, out poking around for food. We see quite a few of these little spider-eating insectivores. Um, They're thought to be pretty uncommon out here, but I've always had pretty good luck with them. Um, but this is a species I enjoy seeing in different areas. This particular spot is one that I have spent a lot of time and have never seen one of these, so it's a pretty good find as far as I'm concerned and a pretty good way to start off the trip. I'm just glad we actually managed to shine a snake tonight despite getting a late start. So I will take it. If we don't see anything else, it kind of makes the night for me. First snake on a cut. He actually even wasn't on the cut. He was just on the side of the road while I was shining. But uh, yeah, little hook nose snake. All right, guys, just so you can have an idea of the habitat I'm working right now. Just a rocky roadside here in West Texas. It's about 70 degrees, but it feels a lot cooler than that because of the wind. And just for some reason, this area always feels cooler than it really is. But 
We're going to finish shining this, though, and if we see anything else, I will let you guys know. But I was not expecting to see anything, much less something decent, so maybe we'll see some more stuff. Good afternoon, everyone. It is the next day. We got some good sleep, and uh, we're up ready to do it again. I'm here at Steven's place currently, and we're getting ready to head out. Last night was solid, considering we only had about an hour of decent harping before it just got too late at night. So uh, hopefully tonight will be a lot better. It feels great out here. There's some storm clouds building. So hopefully tonight will be a good night. But we're gonna go get some lunch and head out to start road cruising. What's up, big man? You gonna help us find some snakes? All right. Nobody. You see anyone? No? no. Okay. <laughs> He's just coming in hot. Oh my God. <laughs> What a fast guy. All right, guys, so we're starting off the afternoon looking for hognose snakes out here in the grasslands. We're gonna cruise around out here until it starts to get dark, and then we're gonna shoot over to a rock cut and shine around there. So uh, I will update you guys if we find anything. It's still pretty hot right now, but there could be horn lizards and stuff out. So we're gonna keep an eye out on the road, and uh, once it starts to get prime snake time, uh, we'll hopefully be checking back in with you guys. Well, it does not appear the snakes were a fan of diurnal activity today, so let's hope there's more stuff out after dark. The sun's going to be down here in the next few minutes, and we're going to be hitting the cuts. All right, everyone, we are on the ground shining. Still not completely dark out yet, but the big bright moon is going to mean it's fairly bright throughout the night tonight. But yeah, we're on foot. Hopefully the snakes will be out tonight, but we're going to start walking, and I will update you guys when we find the first thing of interest. You can see it is nice and moist here. There's a lot of water uh, that has come through here in the last couple days, so conditions couldn't be much better for, you know, my favorite snakes out in this region. So hopefully we will see something. I say this every time, but one of the coolest things about West Texas is seeing all the cool insects out here. This is a jeweled scarab. I think it's Gloria scarab, the common name on this guy. But <laughs> either way, really cool little beetles that repeatedly fly into when you're walking cuts like this. <laughs> Here's our first herp of the night that I've filmed. Sophia spotted this guy. This is an adult canyon tree frog. These guys are absolutely everywhere when it rains out here. She's already seen two tonight. This is the second one. But really cool, really common tree frog. The only tree frog I think we get here in West Texas that's native at least, so always nice to see. This one's kind of drab, but they can be quite colorful sometimes. They get green spots on them. They're really cool looking frogs, so we're just going to leave that guy right there. This is that same canyon tree frog from earlier, but I did another pass on the cut and came back, and he is actually colored up a little bit. You can see his spots a little bit better. Amphibians change colors a lot in response to their environment, so pretty cool to see. But I'm just going to leave that guy right there. A cupine. What's up, dude? He's out of here. He was in the road. Actually, I'm not sure he can get over the fence. Nope, he's going right through it somehow. <laughs> wow, that was impressive, dude. Anyways, still haven't seen a snake tonight, and it's like 11.30. It is now 12.42 a.m., and Steven has found our first snake of the day. A checker garter snake. I'm sure you guys can hear the bullfrogs calling behind us, so it isn't too surprising to see a garter snake here. There's a lot of permanent water in this area. But yeah, checkered garter snake. First snake of the night at well after midnight, which is not how I was hoping tonight would go, but I'm just glad we found a snake at this point, so. Anyways, we're probably not going to mess with this guy too much. He's looking for food, I'm assuming. But it's a pretty sharp-looking little garter snake. We're just going to leave him to his business and uh, see what else we can turn up. Pretty little checkered garter snake. I love how they have red tongues. Mm -hmm. What's up, dude? Do you smell somebody? you smell some food? All right, we'll leave you alone. Checkered garter snake last night, which is not ideal. But as you can see, it's raining.
raining here in West Texas today. It's incredibly lush. The absence of snakes last night was kind of inexplicable. I'm not really sure what was happening, but, I mean, stuff like that happens out here all the time. It's just part of herping in such a weird area, in such an unpredictable area. So, it's part of the territory. Hopefully tonight things will turn around. Um, I'm going to try to be optimistic about it, though. I mean, the weather tonight definitely is the best of the three nights we've had so far. So, hopefully things will turn around for us here tonight. We're going to do the same thing we did last night. Um, we're going to go cruise for hogs out in the grasslands while it's still light out. And then, once it gets dark, we're going to go shine cuts. So, I will check in with you guys when things happen, if they do. Which, I really hope they do, considering the last two nights have been pretty slow. A rainbow. Very nice. We did it! We found a snake before it got dark tonight. And it's an Aatrox. I'm going to take a quick photo of this guy, then we'll get a better look at him. Well, there is our first Western Diamondback Rattlesnake of the trip. I would like to wager that's probably not the only one we see, but it has been pretty weird out here so far, so you never know. But, really good-looking little young Aatrox who is coming to say hi. What's up, dude? I don't want any problems with you. I would like you to cross the road on your own accord, actually. So this is nice. But yeah, really nice looking Aatrox to start the night. I'll never complain about seeing one of these guys, especially during the daytime when I can actually appreciate them. But uh, yeah, there he goes. Keep moving, keep moving young man. Go on. I like how he suddenly changed colors when he got on the other side of the road. But yeah, first snake of the night. Nice looking western diamondback rattlesnake. We're just gonna leave him to it and keep cruising. All right, everyone, I am out here in the field, walking around. So uh, hopefully we will be able to turn up some more snakes tonight than we have the last couple of nights, but uh, there's never any guarantees out here in West Texas if you haven't realized that already based on how this video has gone so far. But I mean, if, if I'm gonna be honest, it does feel a lot better to me than it has the last two nights. So hopefully stuff will be out, we're gonna find out. And I will update you guys when things happen. This is the same little area we saw one of these guys last night, but way up here on this boulder is another canyon tree frog. First one of those we've seen tonight, kind of neat. He's way off the ground too, which is pretty cool. Still no snakes yet, but did just find this nice little scorpion. Have not seen as many of these guys out here as I usually do. But yeah. Still no snakes, it's about 10.30 at this point, but I've seen a couple of cool invertebrates. This is the first one of these I've gotten to show this video. This is a vinegar rune. These guys are pretty common out here. Oh, when they get grumpy, they squirt a vinegar smelling substance out of that thing coming off of his tail. So I'm just gonna back up and leave this guy to his business because I don't want to be smelling like vinegar for the rest of the night. Also, hostile plants. All right, guys, well, Steven found our next snake of the night, and it is a Great Plains rat snake, which is uh, a snake we see fairly often here in West Texas, but it's not something we have back in Georgia, so it's always nice to see. These guys are typically pretty common on the roads at night and on rock cuts. Just about any way you can be herping, you have a chance of seeing one of these guys. And if you can't tell just by looking at him, these guys are relatives of the corn snakes we have back home. They basically are just a less colorful corn snake. That's how I like to describe them. But either way, really cool looking snakes. Love to see them. Nice to see at least one large adult colubrid out tonight. So could be a good sign that the king snakes are moving. And it's starting to rain on us. Interesting. All right, we're going to keep moving. This rain might put a damper on things, unfortunately. But we're going to keep at it and see what else we can turn up. <laughs> Sophia strikes with a beautiful little bear giraffe. All right, here is another look at this nice little bear giraffe snake Sophia found. These guys are fairly common, but they are one of the more unique species we have here in West Texas. They're always beautiful to see. Really stunning coloration on these guys. They've got this beautiful slaty gray, 
and uh, intermixed with it is some really cool pinkish orange salmon colors. And they're pretty variable too. You never know what you're gonna get with these guys. Sometimes you'll get a really orange one. Sometimes they'll just be kind of brown, which is not the best, but a lot of the time they're at least some variation of this really cool metallic-y silver color, which I really like. It's a really good looking color. But this guy is only about half grown. They get about four feet long. Not as big as some of the other rat snakes, but still a fairly decent sized snake. And like all rat snakes, they like to climb. So it's not too uncommon to see these guys way up the rock cut or even up in trees sometimes. But either way, really sharp looking snake. I'm definitely gonna take some photos of this guy and then we're gonna let him go. But nice bear rat snake, always a good find. Well, there we go. Steven just spotted this beautiful little rock rattlesnake. The first one of the trip and the first one of the year for me, I think. Really cool. Beautiful younger snake with nice little peachy patch on her neck there. Really nice. These are always one of the coolest snakes to see out here in West Texas. After Alterna, this is probably the number two snake that I'm always hoping to see. And sure enough, we got one tonight. They're fairly common around here, so not a crazy good find. We kind of came over here expecting to see one or two of these guys tonight. So um, we're going to take some photos real quick and let him go. And maybe we'll see another one. But we do have a storm barreling down on us at the moment that it's probably going to end up dumping rain on us and forcing us to relocate again. But, uh, you can, might can hear the thunder in the background, but good looking rock rattlesnake either way. You can see how good they are at climbing. This is basically a vertical man-made wall that he's just scaling with no issue whatsoever. But beautiful little snake. So to give you an idea of what's about to hit us, you can see how bright it is over there. And how pitch black it is up there. So we're going to try to outrun this storm and get in front of it and stay in front of it. So we're going to hop in the car and drive a little bit. All right, no sooner had we left that last cut, there's a hook nose in the road. What's up, dude? You going to fart for us? No. <laughs> Man, that's a nice one too. Mm -hmm. And he's showing off his big tongue too. Look at this guy. Very nice. Second hook nose snake of the trip and my third of the year. Look at that tongue. What a guy. All right, well, we're gonna move this guy off the road and keep heading to our next cut we're gonna shine. Really nice. All right, buddy, stay out of the road. Well, that's pretty cool. There is a, that is about as big as they come around here. Mojave rattlesnake. Just chilling out. I actually might want to take a quick photo of this guy. So I'm going to do that real quick and then I'll get a little more video. This is a really unusual looking Mojave rattlesnake. Um, by the diagnostic that's used to identify these guys, it is not even a Mojave rattlesnake because you look at the scales between the eyes which of course is slightly variable, but, but either way, definitely an unusual looking Mojave rattlesnake. Definitely more Mojave than anything else, I think, but there is some really weird stuff going on with this complex, and there have been documented hybrids of them with prairie rattlesnakes, which is kind of cool. Another weird thing about this guy is how chill he's being. Normally these are one of the more fiery rattlesnakes, but uh, really good looking snake either way. We're gonna move him out of the road and keep heading to our next cut. All right, big guy, let's get you out of the road. It's a sharp looking rattlesnake for sure. Well, we went to move him and there's that typical scoop behavior. So, uh, yeah, good looking snake though. We'll make sure he gets well off the road and head to our next rock cut. All right, everyone, it's about 2 a.m. at this point and we have had a solid night. Definitely the best night of the trip so far, including a couple of my favorites out here. But no king snakes seem to be out tonight. But uh, we're going to keep at it for another maybe hour or so. And uh, if we see anything else, I will let you guys know. But uh, it's been a while since we've seen a snake. Well, it's currently 
4.13 in the morning. And uh, I think we're gonna call it a night at this point. We have not really seen anything since the really cool looking Mojave rattlesnake we found. Uh, and that was back at like before two, I think. So, it seems like stuff has kind of died off. So we're gonna go get some sleep. And uh, we've got one more night in Texas before we head to New Mexico for most of the rest of the trip. So I will probably check in with you guys tomorrow afternoon when we head out.